Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Elliot Morgan. And we're going to open up your mind. A major breakthrough has been achieved in the regenerative medicine world. For the first time ever, scientists were able to harvest skin cells from a heart failure patient and genetically transform them into young and healthy and beating heart tissue. Crazy! They borrowed from one part of a human and turned it into another part of the same human. Lior Jepstein, the head dude of the research super team, summed everything up with this quote. We have shown that it's possible to take skin cells from an elderly patient with advanced heart failure and end up with his own beating cells in a laboratory dish that are healthy and young, the equivalent to the stage of his heart cells when he was just born. So it's not a, hey, old guy with old heart, give us some skin and then we'll regenerate some of your old heart. It's, hey, old guy with old heart, we'll take some of your skin and then give you a brand new heart part. Crazy. Science. Right? Oh, man. Oh, wow. So here's the sciencey process of the whole thing. Scientists gathered skin cells from two old dudes, a 51-year-old and a 61-year-old, who experienced heart failure. They took these cells and science massaged them into human-induced pluripotent stem cells, aka high PSCs. These are like embryonic stem cells in the sense that they can develop into other cell types in the human body. They're like Mystique from X-Men on a cellular level, meaning they can morph into other cells. The important thing to note here, however, is that they are like the controversial embryonic stem cells, but they are not the controversial embryonic stem cells. And when these new cells were placed in the same environment as other developing muscle cells, the new cells were beating in unison with the other cells in a matter of days. So instead of becoming two different sets of heart muscle tissue beating to different metronomes, which could lead to a dangerous arrhythmia, the tissue synced up like this in a matter of days, you know? Two become one. The Spice Girls. Yeah, you remember them. So how does this affect you? Well, this breakthrough could eventually help anyone with heart defects, but the demographics that will benefit the most are the elderly and survivors of heart attacks. Cardiac arrest damages heart tissue and then leaves it in a broken state. So hypothetically, we could replace damaged cells with these patient-specific new cells, and the ticker will tick longer than it might have without the procedure. And as a bonus, because the cells are patient-specific, it lowers the possibility that the immune system will reject the cells. But before we get overly excited about this whole thing, it's important to note that the research is still in its infancy stage. The application of this research could be as far as 15 years out. But that being said, human trials could begin in the next five to 10 years. So if there's anything we can learn from all of these new breakthroughs, it's this. Science is cool. Science is cool. Is that like a scientific term? Cool? Oh, man, that's what should, it is. We should do some experiments. Yeah, you want to do some experiments? Yeah, let's get together and do some science. Oh, awesome. man, science is so cool. <laughs> oh. So heart cell regeneration might just be the tip of the iceberg. How else could this research be applied to the human body in a medical sense? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, it helps us out a lot. If you could possibly click that like button, and if you'd like to see more of our faces, you can hit the subscribe button, and you can always hit this annotation bar, or go to sourcefed.com to see our five daily stories, or anything else we've ever done, which is a lot of stuff. So much like stuff. Like 400 oh, videos today. Yep. All right, I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna see you again, yep. right? Yeah.